Rafa Nadal vs Taylor Fritz is the men's final at Indian Wells for 2022, and both players have had difficult roads to get to the final stage. Fritz entered the tournament as the 20th seed and got a bye in the first round. His second round opponent was the Polish player Matrzak, and this was no problem for Fritz, winning in straight sets, 6-1, 6-1. His third round was against surprise qualifier Munir, and this was an absolute battle. After winning the first set, he lost the second, but eventually prevailed in a tiebreak in the third, 6-4, 2-6, 7-6. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 29th seed Dimonor, and again had to play a tiebreak in the third set, eventually prevailing 3-6, 6-4, 7-6. In his quarterfinal, he took on the unseeded Kecmenovic, and after taking out a close first set, he dropped the second, but eventually prevailed on three, seven, six, three, six, six, one. In the semifinals, Fritz would take on the number seven seed Rublev, who was coming in on a win streak. And after a close first set, Fritz held his nerve towards the end, eventually getting through in straight, seven, five, six, four, to advance to the final. Rafa Nadal entered the tournament as the number four seed and on a 15 match win streak and got a bye in the first round. His second round opponent was Seb Korda, the American. And after taking the first set, he was forced to play three and would have to fight in the third set to come back from 5-2 down, but he eventually prevailed 6-2, 1-6, 7-6. His third round opponent was the 27 seed Dan Evans, and after a close first set where Evans had the lead, it was Rafa to come back again, winning in straight sets 7-5, 6-3. In his fourth round match, he'd take on the big serving American, Riley Opelka, the number 17 seed. And as you'd guess, Opelka playing a couple of tie breaks, but Rafa getting the best of him, winning both the tie breaks, 7-6, 7-6. His quarterfinal meeting was against the wild card Nick Kyrgios, who he'd had some epic clashes with in the past, and this was no exception. This match lived up to the hype, with all the drama you expect from a Kyrgios-Nadal matchup, but it was Rafa who got the win in the end, 7-6, 5-7, 6-4. In the semi-finals, Rafa would take on his protege and the number 19 seed Alcarez, who had just beaten Nori, the defending champion, in the quarterfinals. And after the first set, the wind kicked up and really wreaked havoc. And just like his quarterfinal, he would have to fight in the third, eventually getting through in three, six, four, four, six, six, three. Now these two have only played the one time before. That was at Acapulco in 2020, just before COVID hit. And Rafa got the easy win in that match. But Fritz has come a long way in the last two years. And his mentality was really strong against Rublev, especially under pressure. If Fritz is going to win, he has to serve well. That was the biggest thing that worked for him in his semi-final match against Rublev. He served well, and he also kept his cool. And he needs to do the same against Rafa. He can't get, let Rafa get to him. If Rafa's going to win, he just needs to do what he does usually. If the weather is a little bit dicey, though, it could be tough for Rafa but he just needs to make sure that he puts his shots in the court and maybe frustrates Fritz, which will help him because Fritz will give him some free points. This is going to be an interesting one for me because Fritz is coming in with an apparent ankle injury and Rafa had medical treatment during his match against Alcarez, so both guys are going to be a bit wounded, but I'm going to go with Rafa in straight sets. I think Fritz is going to make it interesting though. I think maybe a tie break in the first or second sets, but I've got Rafa in straight sets to make it 21-0 going into the clay season, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this match.